Gareth is a strong tender engine who works for the Sodor Timber Mill in Henry's Forest. He takes heavy trucks of timber between the forest and the docks. He is also known as GJ by his friends and also works with two other forest engines called Stephanie and Lily. Stephanie, also known as Steph, helps with shunting the cut down trees and taking trucks of new trees ready for planting. Lily is a small green tank engine who does shunting in the timber yards. As she was only built a few years ago, she doesn't know as much as the other engines, but GJ and Steph are there to keep an eye on her. She even looks up to GJ and Steph as if they are her parents. One day in their shed, the fat controller came to see GJ. A tree is down in the whistling woods, he said. Thomas has taken the breakdown train and workmen to clear the tracks. GJ, go and collect the tree and bring it back here, please. Yes, sir, said GJ. Steph decided to have a little bit of fun. Be careful, GJ, she said. I've heard that engines disappear in those woods. Really? asked Lily worriedly. Of course not, said GJ. On the way to the woods, GJ was thinking about what Steph said. Disappearing engines, he said. Engines don't disappear in those woods. Right. At the woods, Thomas and the workman had just finished cutting up the tree and was ready for GJ's truck. In no time at all, the tree was ready and so was GJ. He wanted to leave as soon as possible. I don't like the look of this place, he said to himself. Then Sir Tom Hatt arrived. GJ, there are more trees along the track in danger of falling, he said. You are needed here tonight to help the workmen. Oh, said the worried GJ. Yes, sir. Beware, GJ, said Thomas. I hear this wood is haunted by a ghost. What ghost? GJ asked. The ghost train of the woods, replied Thomas. Every night he goes out and looks for steam engines. Then Thomas puffed away. Later that day, GJ returned to the timber mill with his full trucks. He then told Steph and Lily about the ghost train of the woods. Thomas is just having a laugh, said Steph. Everybody knows there are no such thing as ghosts. I know, said GJ. I'm not scared. You are very brave, Daddy, said Lily. Thank you, said GJ. It'll take more than one of Thomas's stories to scare me. Night came, and the woods looked very spooky in the dark. GJ watched the workman and Sir Top and Hat working. Soon the flatbed truck was loaded. Good, thought GJ. I can finally go. Suddenly an owl hooted. This scared GJ so much that he bumped the truck. GJ felt very foolish, but before the fat controller spoke, they heard a whisper. Hello? It's the ghost! shouted GJ. What ghost? asked Sir Topham Hat. It's the ghost train of the woods, explained GJ. He's come to get me. Don't be silly, said the fat controller. I'll go and take a look. He returned shortly. Come, GJ, said Sir Topham Hat. I've got something to show you. Is it the ghost? asked GJ. Yes and no, said the fat controller. So GJ made his way inside the shed. Well, bust my buffers, said GJ. There in front of him was a rusty saddle tank engine. Here is your ghost, GJ, said the fat controller. Her name's really Karina. I once gave her a trial one on Sodor and thought she went back to the mainland. GJ felt very silly and happy they found Karina. So Tom had listened to Karina as she told him how she was left in the shed. My manager wanted diesels back home, so he decided to leave me here in this shed instead of paying for my trip back home and the scrapyard to break me up, whispered Karina. She was a shy engine. We can fix that, said the fat controller. GJ, take her to the steamworks. Nowadays, Karina is restored with new parts and a new coat of pink paint. She works on Everest Branch Line, shunting at Wellsworth Station 
and taking small passenger trains to Brendam Docks. She and GJ are now good friends and she is welcome to help out at the timber mills anytime. She loves working on Stodor and likes how some engines still call her the Ghost Train of the Woods. <laughs>